Hello friends, this video on integers part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So till now we had been discussing about addition and subtraction of integers. Now we will learn how do we handle multiplication of integers and then we will also discuss properties for multiplication of integers. Now, how do we multiply two integers? Again, here also we will discuss the different scenarios like uh, how to multiply a positive integer with negative integer. Then we will talk about a positive with positive, a negative with negative and so on. So first we will talk about positive integer multiplied with a negative integer. Now, let us take an example. Let us say that you want to multiply this minus 2 multiplied by 3. Now, can you tell me what does this mean? What does multiplication exactly means? This basically means that minus 2 is added 3 times. So, we can say that minus 2 into 3 is same as minus 2 plus minus 2 plus minus 2. So, they are the same thing. So, whenever you are multiplying two integers, that actually means something like this that minus 2 is added these many times. Now, instead of adding it for so many times, we just multiply it so that our job becomes simpler. Now, let us say if I ask you to add minus 2 for 3 times, where will you go? You will start adding minus 2 from 0 because from 0 to minus 2, this is 1 time. So, you have added minus 2 1 time. You added minus 2 one more time. So you reached at minus 4. You added minus 2 one more time. So you reached at minus 6. So basically if you add minus 2 for 3 times, you will get minus 6. And that is why when you multiply 3 to minus 2, you get minus 6. So this is what we mean by multiplication. Now, another interesting fact about multiplication is that now minus 2 into 3 is basically the same thing as 2 into minus 3. You want to see how? Now, what do you mean by 2 into minus 3? This means minus 3 is added 2 times. So, this basically means that minus 3 is added 2 times. So, if you add minus 3 2 times, so first time when you add minus 3, you reach here. Again, when you add minus 3, you reach here. So, again, there also you reach at the same point, which is minus 6. So, basically, we see that 2 into minus 3 is same as minus 2 into 3, which implies that if you have two integers a and b, such that a into minus b will always be equal to minus a into b. So that is another important conclusion that we can draw out of this. So basically what we conclude is whenever you have to multiply a positive integer with a negative integer, what you do? You find the product normally forgetting about the sign and then put a negative sign. So if one of them carries a negative sign, then the product will always be negative. So whether you are multiplying minus 9 into 6, what would be the result? 9, 6 is a 54 since one of them is negative. So you put a negative sign. 6 into minus 9. Again, it would be 54 since one of them is negative. So the result would be minus 54. So this is how you multiply a positive integer with a negative integer. Now let us see how do we multiply a negative integer with a negative integer. Now this is going to be a little more interesting. Let's say you have to find out the value of minus 2 multiplied by minus 3. Now what does this mean basically? Because when we say minus 2 into 3, we say that minus 2 is added 3 times. But when we say minus 2 into minus 3, does that mean that minus 2 is added minus 3 times? Because we really don't understand the meaning of minus 3 times. Now, basically in this case, what it means is, it still means that minus 2 is added 3 times. But this negative sign just tells us that this time we move in the opposite direction on the number line. So let us take this example. Now let us say that when we spoke about minus 2 multiplied by 3. So how did we move on the number line? So if 
this is your number line so how did you move on the number line something like this minus 2 again minus 2 again minus 2 and you reach that minus 6 so this is how you moved for minus 2 into 3 now let us say if you talk about minus 2 into minus 3 it again means the same thing but in the opposite direction so you basically are going to move on the opposite side of the number line and in case of multiplication you are always going to start from zero so from zero you are still going to take two steps a time but in the opposite direction and as a result where do you reach you reach at six so this is what you mean by minus two into minus three so in this case, what is the product that you are going to get? You are going to get a 6, a positive 6. So even though you multiplied two negative integers, but the result that you got was a positive integer. Now let us do yet another experiment, which will be more interesting and which will tell you that whatever I am telling you is correct. Because some of you might not be convinced that, okay, since there is a minus sign, why should I move in the opposite direction? So let us do this exercise. This is more interesting. Now, I said that minus 2 into 3 is minus 6. I hope you are convinced with this, right? Now, let us see what would be the value of minus 2 into 2. That means minus 2 repeated 2 times. So, you reach at minus 4. So, this is the value of minus 2 into 2. Now, let's say minus 2 into 1. That means you just add it once. So, you get minus 2. So, this would be minus 2. What would be minus 2 multiplied by 0? That means you are not adding minus 2 at all. So in that case, you remain at 0. You stay at 0. You start at 0 and you stay there. So the result would be 0. Now minus 2 into minus 1. Now see, gradually what is happening? You see, you are gradually moving towards this side of the number line. So what should be the expected value of minus 2 into minus 1? So this also means that 2 is repeated added one time but will it be minus 2 in that case this and this will have the same value no right so this time we are moving yet ahead so this is going to be 2 similarly minus 2 into minus 2 is going to be 4 minus 2 into minus 3 is going to be 6 and so on so basically this proves that whenever we multiply two negative integers the result is always a positive integer so the simple tip to remember here is whenever you are multiplying two negative integers simply find their product and put a positive sign thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you